Hey guys, this is Xamarin guys. So 55 tutorial in this tutorial we'll be creating Xamarin forms animation Just like this you can see over here If I press login button then some animation will come and you can modify it as uh, going to navigate to next screen or as you may like It is a customizable one. So in order to create such type of project Let us go to file new and then project as we are going to create a cross-platform application We'll select Xamarin forms blank app and give it a name as you like selecting using .NET standard as I have selected it and then let us create it in this project we are going to use Xamarin Forms Lota animation in our project so before implementing that let us be sure that our project compiles at first let us run our Xamarin Forms iOS project at first okay our project is up and running now let us implement Xamarin Forms Lota animation in our project click on our shared project and add a new kit package as you can see over here and then type Xamarin Lottie and then implement in all of your project this is a readme file that is generated when our nougat package gets added to understand that we are adding nougat package of same version in all of our project as 2.5.2.1 and for our iOS 2 we will be adding that nougat package as Xamarin Lottie 2.5.2.1 and add that package now let us add this manual implementation inside our xamarin forms main page.xaml i'll copy that and then main page.xaml as it is our design part we are going to paste over here let us remove all the unimplemented code from our project that is not going to be used i'll remove that just remove unfinished method implementation also from our project as we are not going to use that I'll cut that let us change that autoplay value as to as we are going to autoplay it as soon as our page gets loaded so loop is going to be changed as true that's all our next objective is to take lotte files out of the portal as you can see over here I'll give that link in the description below you can get that and then selecting on tab as loading as well as hot we can take out json file and download it let's download this json file i'll drag and drop in my desktop let us drag and drop it as i've already downloaded it i'll keep both and then let us take this json file towards our visual studio project inside our asset folder this is my json file that i'm going to take inside my asset folder of android project and then same JSON file is going to be added inside resources folder of iOS project. Click on OK. Then change the name as of your JSON file as loading.json. Next objective is to add a custom renderer for our Xamarin Forms Android project. Before our application gets started, we have to initialize a renderer as animation view renderer.init dot init method this will be defined inside our lotte form dot droid that's all now let us go towards our ios project here inside our app delegate dot cs we'll be implementing same method before our load application method we will initialize the same renderer and then let us quick fix it As using lotte.forms.ios.renderer that's all now our project is ready to build and compile I'll minimize it before debugging our whole solution we have to add a namespace so that we are going to connect our main page with the nougat package that we have included it and then let us give it a content page as content for that I'll close that and then let us cut that and then add that stack page inside our content page that's all let us set our iOS project as our startup project and then select it and build and run our project that's all now we are going to add a button which will be calling our animation view I'll stop my build process and then inside our main page I have previously written some set of code I'll give that code in the description below you can get that 
you can see over here I am implementing two entry box and giving a label as name or phone number as well as our level will be as password for giving a correct entered password or not and beside that I am giving a button name as button login and text as login next objective is to when that button is clicked then animation should be viewed that's all so let us go to our main page.jaml.cs We'll be calling our animation view from our jaml page that we have already defined in this class as this dot animation view as visibility is equals to false and then let us create a button as clicked you can define a button inside your jaml page also as clicked and then let us hard code it as private white button login clicked as button login name as I have already defined inside our jaml page as object sender and even arguments as e and this dot animation view is visible is equals to true and then let us cut that now what we have done is that when our page gets loaded then our animation is not visible and when our button gets clicked then only our animation is visible and it is a total customizable one you can navigate to a next page and then give an animation view as visibility is equals to true now when i press that login button then i'll get that beautiful animation and this whole project can be a bindable one and then you can play with mbbm model along with that that's all for this project now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorial